not actually even allowing myself a hoodie even though it's like 7 p.m. and it's freaking freezing in here. <sighs> you cold, boy? Get up faster! What's up, Rob? Okay, so, what's up guys? Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. We have just finished up around about 40 minutes on the bike, actually. I just kind of kept going. You know, like when you say you're gonna do half an hour or you say you're gonna burn a certain amount of calories, you get there and you're like, oh, I feel okay. I'm gonna keep going. So, 30600, 30600, 306 calories in around about 40 minutes. So we took it fairly steady, to be honest. Um, but yeah, just answered some emails, organized some stuff, watched some YouTube. It was good. That's why I like cardio. I can just sit here with the TV on. I'm very fortunate to have this set up. But anyway, as you can see by the title of today's video, this is going to be an explanation, if you like, or a, an insight into what it's going to be like for me. Cutting. Okay? Dieting. Whatever you want to call it. So, if you are excited for this video, please drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, stick around, we're going to get shredded this year. Really, really shredded. There's no way getting around the fact that we are not going to be shredded. However, this year you will see the best version of LSJ, of me, okay? So drop a like if you are excited, and let's get it started. Let's start off by talking about the topic that everybody is going to be asking about and that is my macros. Ever since I started posting about my diet and everything like that, I get messages every day, comments every day asking about what my macros are actually going to be and why and blah blah blah. I'm going to kind of go into a little bit of detail, I'll explain really kind of more further down the line as I go along about the changes and all that kind of stuff. However, starting off 2,300 calories and that will be made up of 250 grams of carbs, 190 protein and 60 fat. If I then hit a roadblock, I stop losing weight and everything like that. I will then take 10 grams of carbs, uh, not 10 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat off. That will be about 100 calories there or there, about what's well, actually 90 calories, but it will do to keep it kind of moving a little bit. If we then stall again, we'll take some more. It'll more than likely be from carbs that time, but actually having a fairly low fat diet, 50 grams of fat, it's really not that difficult for me to, to not hit, if that makes sense, to, to go over. If we ever have cheese, it's reduced fat cheese. If we ever have yogurt, as you guys saw in yesterday's um, protein pancake video, it's you know low fat yogurt, low, zero fat yogurt. Having a fairly low fat diet really isn't something that I tend to struggle with um, on a daily basis. So, alongside that, we will be training five times per week using my LSJ OHP plan. I'll be releasing that soon, keep saying soon. I'm putting the final touches on it. Actually, the plan is done, it's sorted, the PDF is done. I just need to find a way to kind of put it on a website so that you guys can actually get hold of it. Um, but I'm working on that. So five days per week, legs, push, Pull, upper, lower, okay? Or something along those lines. It's basically the, the variations of the plan is very good. You can actually chop and change the days depending on how busy you are. I personally have used this plan for the last six, seven, eight, more like 10 months. I've used this plan for a long time. Pretty much all the progress I made in the run up to the 100 kg OHP, where I was losing body fat, where I was gaining strength, all at the same time, this plan did that for me. I've just finally put it down on paper for you guys to get. So, with that said, it is time for a push day on that plan, it's actually the following day now, I, mean, I guess you kind of assume that, but. That meal that you guys saw was actually, believe it or not, a ready meal, yeah. You wouldn't have bloody known by the, fi the final product. Essentially what it was is glorified frigging um, chicken and pasta. It was 200 grams of chicken, a ready meal which had a bit of chicken in it and pasta, and like a tomato -y base, and I just chucked some spinach in with it. It was bloody brilliant. I mean, it was a little bit high in sodium, but 
I hadn't really had any sodium for the rest of the day, so it was fine. Anyway, I need to train. Good day. the camera and I will be following the same five day plan with a few kind of variations in it but I'll be doing more shoulder press than the old man um, you struggle with that don't you? I do. Mobility wise if you saw the yoga video um, mobility does not run in the family um, and so I think we can work on it but I don't think it's really worth the risk for you to full or fully shoulder press but no not at the moment no not yet anyway um, so we're gonna be following the same plan with a few variations. We both have our diets set out. We both have our goals set out. It's gonna be good. I'm actually quite excited to Me see too. how it all goes. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, it should be good, shouldn't it? Yeah. But um, today is day two of my week. Day one of your week. One, yeah. This is what I mean by how the plan can be kind of switched around, you know? We'll all be good. There will be there will be days. There will be weeks where we can only do four days a week. Some days maybe even three. Um, but for me personally, there may also be weeks where I can do six. I'll just do an extra day where I train abs and all that lot. You know, I love, tra <laughs> love training abs. Who, but, does, uh, who doesn't? Oh yeah. Oh, well, we've got something in mind for that. Oh, oh yeah. We've got something yeah. in mind. So keep, keep your eyes peeled for that. Exactly. And uh, yeah, today's day two for me. Push day. Thank you. Goodbye. I just happen to have to hand this trusty little sheet that I've made. I've made one of these for myself and the old man. If you can see down the left hand side here, there are dates. Every single one of these days is a Monday. It's the start of every week. What I want to do is have that date and have a goal for that date to keep me on track. I've printed this up. I'm going to pin it up on my wardrobe and I'm going to look at it every day. Make sure that this is how it goes. Okay. And if it's not, I'm going to evaluate why and try and make adjustments accordingly, right? Okay, so this morning I was 184 pounds. Bear in mind this morning is Tuesday. Yesterday, I actually forgot to weigh myself. It showed how much I actually give a damn about starting it. Because I, I take a very relaxed approach to my, my dieting. I don't even really call it a diet. I just dial things in a little bit. You guys already know this. Anyway, so we'll call 184 the kind of top weight. I actually was 186 a couple days before that and 189 was at some point. But anyway, we dialed it back down and we'll call the start weight 184. So as of the 2nd of March, I would like to be 182 pounds. As of the 15th of May, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 11 and a few days, 11 weeks and a few days away, I want to be in the 160s pounds, 160 pounds, right? On the basis that I was 172, there or thereabouts at Body Power last year, I have a few more pounds of muscle on my frame now than this time last year, and so those few pounds would be retracted body fat because it's muscle and less weight. You guys know what I mean, right? I'll be leaner and bigger than last year. That's literally, that's the goal, really, okay? So, March the 2nd, the goal is 182 pounds. Boom, that is it. It is down, it is pen and paper, oh, that's it, okay? The following week, I want to be 180 pounds. This is a bare minimum of what I kind of expect of myself. If I'm ahead of this, great, but if I'm behind, I need to kind of 
get my ass into gear a little bit. So 180. You will start to notice a trend here as we come down to the 16th of March and the 23rd of March. Two pounds every single week for the first four weeks. That is the plan, just to kind of get the momentum going. You guys know how I feel about momentum. I feel the same way with dieting. If I'm coming down, it will it will flow. You know, I'll get into that routine and then actually decreasing the calories up in the cardio as we go will be easier because I'm in that mindset, I'm in that momentum kind of flow, if you like. So, for the first four weeks, two pounds, two pounds, two pounds, two pounds. After that, when we get to the 30th of March, we would like to be 175, because that is one pound. This trend will continue all the way down one pound per week until we reach the 11th of May, which is the Monday before Body Power, okay? So, Body Power is on the Friday, the 15th of May, and by 11th of May, I would like to be 169 pounds. Again, Bear in mind, this is the kind of bare minimum of what I expect of myself. If I keep to my training plan, if I keep to my cardio schedule, this will happen. This will work. I've worked it out. It will work. The only reason I do not hit this right here is because I cannot be bothered. And I will have to be honest with myself and honest with you guys because I've now put it out there on the internet. If I do not hit this, the only reason is because I couldn't be asked. Things could get in the way, like I want to go for drinks with Charlotte, which is life. This is why I take that approach to it. It's really not the end of the world, but with the plan that I have laid out for myself, it's very, very doable. Two pounds a week for four weeks as a 22 year old, and then one pound a week after that. If I don't hit that, that's pretty freaking terrible, right? So I would like to be in the 160s by body power, and that is that. So my physique right now is very fluffy, um, yes. Uh, it's like when I went to Oxford with Charlotte, maybe, I think it was last week, um, and Bath, actually. We've, we've just been away a couple of times and uh, indulged, shall we say, in pizzas, in burgers, in nice sugary cocktails. You know, we've not held back knowing that I've not got very long left and I just kind of thought, fuck it. Because I will be dialing it in, not having a Mackey's breakfast because I feel like it, not having a burger, not every single time, anyway within reason. It's like over this last couple of weeks or this last week even, my physique just was just like tipped over the edge if you like of what I wanted it to look like, um, as bad as it I wanted it to get, should I say. I don't even know really how to phrase it, but it's just like this last week, my body's gone like, nope, okay, boom, that's your lot. You're fat again now. Having said that, I am very excited to see 20 plus pounds off of this physique. Um, my starting point, I want to say it was around 189 because that's where it was before I dialed things down again and now we're at 184 but we're going to go with 184 officially because that kind of works. 20 pounds off of that, 184, will bring me down to 164 which is better than my 165 last year and I've got a few more pounds of muscle. I would then like to push it further than that, I would like to go into the high 150s. So I know the thought on every one of your minds is, Liam! What's gonna happen post body power? Well, exactly that, people. This plan as of right now, is it's kind of like a, a diet in two phases, if you like. Um, a before body power phase, and then a body power phase, I guess, where, you know, me and dad will go for a Nando's, we'll probably have some halloumi, stuff like that, fattening stuff, you know? The stuff that you shouldn't really have on a daily basis, but we will do around body power weekend, because it's what we do. We'll have dieted down until that point. We'll have deserved it, okay? Not that we're competition shredded or anything, but we just like to enjoy that weekend, make the most of it, you know? So we'll probably take maybe a week off after body power, um, not really worried about too much, not necessarily binging, but I'll probably squeeze an eating challenge in there, something like that, because I'll be uploading daily videos around that time, I always do, I will be again this year, maybe a couple days before, a few days after, there'll probably be like 10 videos straight, don't quote me on that, but there could potentially be a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of videos um, coming around that time. Once we have finished with that week, I'm just gonna put you back up here so I can actually pedal. Um, once we have finished with that week, um, we'll probably get back on it. And depending on where we're at, we could be at 165 by that point in time. We don't know, things could go really well. However, um, having said that, I only want to be 169. You know, I want to be in the 160s. As long as I'm in the 160s at body power, then I'm good, okay? So, one more thing I haven't actually touched on is uh, the plan, the upper body day, so whether it's a push uh, push day, a pull day, or an upper body day, they are the three days in my plan, that is when I will be doing cardio. Sometimes I might have to switch it around and do it after a leg day, but if you try going on the spin bike after a leg day, it's not, it's not fun, it's not pretty. So um, I try to stick to 
upper body days. Otherwise, I just end up being friggin' burnt out. So this plan has been tailored to me, the equipment I have to me, and uh, I know it can work, not only just for me, is, is the good part about the plan. I was gonna call it two stages, but I guess it's three, because the diet up to body power, then the week after body power, and then a few weeks after body power, however it goes, you know, however long it takes. We will reassess the physique after that week after body power, and uh, then make another plan um, according to where we're at sort of thing. So that is it people. I, uh, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited to see myself and the old man's progress. We are feeling very motivated right now. We are kind of pushing each other in the home gym most days, recording the videos, smashing the videos. Um, I'm just buzzing. We both love body power. Like the old man loves body power just as much as, well, probably not as much as me. He really likes body power as well. So uh, in the run up to it, we will be motivating each other on the days where we feel like crap. And I know he's watching this and thinking, yes, come on, we got this. We freaking got this, okay? Drop this video a like if you have enjoyed it, people. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I just put my thousandth Instagram post up. Go and check that out. 1,000 posts. You vain mother -er. Yes, I know. I actually talk a little bit about my feelings about posting on there. But anyway, that's a story for another time. You can go and read the post. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm gonna carry on for another 20 minutes on here-ish. 300 calories today. And then that'll be that. On to the next one. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you. I love you. Together we will grow. And I will see you with the next update, I guess. See you in the next one.